Okay, so what's happening here is we have a sump pump and uh, it's washing out the foundation from underneath the basement wall here. We're in a basement, as you can see. And uh, the sump pump has drain tiles that go underneath the floor and around the perimeter of the foundation. And those tiles, they're big, usually four inch uh, plastic or whatever. Sometimes they're clay tiles. More modern houses, they're plastic. And those tiles lead into the sump pit. So any groundwater that's in the ground underneath the floor, outside the wall, will go and it takes a path of least resistance and it goes into those hollow drain tiles and then goes over to the sump pump and then the sump pump has a float on it and it kicks on and pumps the water out to the outside of the house, away from the house. So what's happening here, here goes the pump that just kicked on. But what, what we know is happening here is that the foundation's being washed out from this because over here we have this big crack in the basement wall. Look at that. That's probably an inch and a quarter wide, something like that. And it goes down, it says nothing down at the bottom. So the top's cracked, is wider than the bottom, so we know that it's going like that, right? So this, this is the front corner of the house. So that's what's happening here. We know that the foundation's being washed out because the homeowner tells us that he has to keep uh, cleaning out the sump pit. It keeps filling up with sand. So that sand is obviously coming from underneath here. Okay. So. Let's go outside here and take a look on the outside. So as the sand washes out, the foundation sinks. And then that crack opens up. And this is not that uncommon. <clears throat> See right here is where the sump pump comes out. And you can see the, it's cracked here before, they patched it. Got two cracks, two diagonal cracks, one going this way, one going this way. And then there's a crack over here. And by the way, there's a crack in the plaster and the drywall on the other side on the inside of this house. So there's a crack right there inside, crack on the outside, two cracks on the corner here. So that's the garage. There's the house. So it's this corner that's the problem. And that's also happens to be where the sump pump is. So we're 99.9% .9 sure that it's the sump pump that's doing that. So, so we're gonna have to design a repair for this and then do it. So this is a, this is an area here, some township near Metro Beach that this is all probably swamp land before these homes were built. There's ditches in front of the most of the houses. This, this house next door has a ditch in front of it. This home here doesn't have a ditch. They've covered over top of it. There's a drain tile underneath there, but they covered the ditch up. They put a big culvert in there and then covered it up. But it's the same difference. It's drainage to get the, the groundwater away from the house and goes out to the lake. So that's it. Uh, we got structural issue here, issue here caused by uh, by a sump pump that the drain tiles are probably plugged up and they're not able to go into the tiles the way they're supposed to, and they um, so the water's running around the drain tiles and it's washed out this footing here. So so anyway, when we do the repair, we'll uh, do a follow-up video to show what what we did.